Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So today is Saturday, January 23rd, 2021. Um, this past Wednesday was Inauguration Day, meaning uh, Joe Biden was uh, inaugurated as our 46th president and Donald Trump is no longer the president of the United States. Happy day, happy day. But unfortunately he is gone, but not forgotten because um, you know, evil comes back. Evil always comes back, maybe not in the same form, but Donald Trump is not um, completely done yet because there still needs to be accountability for his um, racist, misogynistic, homophobic, transphobic, xenophobic um, policies and decisions that affected uh, millions of lives, not to mention how he failed the American people in uh, response to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, but that will come later. Um, the work, our work's not finished. Now, first of all, let me show you this. Some of y'all have seen this already. This is my little Donnie doll. As you can see, he's bound and gagged, and I've had him in a corner of a dark room since um, a couple of days after the election back in uh, November when it was clear to everyone except Donald Trump and most of the Republican Party that um, Don lost the election. Uh, I said that I was going to burn this doll on Inauguration Day, but again, I feel like it might still be needed for justice and for accountability. Luckily, uh, I saw on the news yesterday that they're going to deliver the articles of impeachment against him on uh, Monday to the Senate, and I believe it said February the 8th will begin his trial. So, um, with that being said, I do want to share with you a spell that I started um, probably about this, you know, about the same time I'd bound and gagged this doll. A couple of days after the election, um, I like this spell because it's so practical. Um, that's why I like hoodoo. It works with practical things, uh, objects for practical matters. It's one of the reasons I, lo I loved uh, identifying as a kitchen witch when I identified as Wiccan is because I love uh, using everyday objects in magical ways. Now, some of you may recognize this right here. It is called Tower Tumbling Tower Game. I found this at the thrift store some time back. And it is obviously a ripoff of Jenga, or maybe this came first, I don't know. Um, and it's um, it, it's called the ta ta Tumbling Tower Game. Uh, so what I did was I regarded this tower as a house. I even named it Trump Tower. And it's made up of all these little blocks, and some go this way and some go this way. And the object of the game is each person takes a turn removing a block until the the tower falls down, tumbles down. And so what you want to do is if you want to tear down someone's house, first of all, let's think about a house. Um, we know that in the art and science of dream interpretation that a house is a symbol of or a metaphor for a person's life. So if you dream of having, you know, a beautiful house, a clean house, a house where everything's in order, chances are your life is in order. If you have a dream where your house is burning down, if it's messy and, and ugly and smelly and awful, then there's something wrong in your life or something aspect of your life. So drawing on the concept of sympathetic magic, meaning this represents this, this tower represents the house that is Trump's life. And so what I did was I, um, every day I would light a candle and maybe some incense, get myself in the right state of mind. And regarding this as Trump's um, life, I would remove one block a day, not a day, at a time, but I would name that block after some aspect of his life. So I would say, I, whoop, I would say, I'm removing your allies. You no longer, they can't protect you. And then maybe I would go down here and I would remove this one. And I would say, I am taking away your health. And then I would go down here I'm nervous, y'all, okay? I'll go down here and take one, and I'd say, 
um, I'm taking away your political power, right? And then I would go down here. I know I'm gonna knock this down. I would remove this one and I'd say, I'm taking away um, the support of your followers. Boom, right? And so eventually what's gonna happen is I'm gonna remove a block. Oh, look at that. And it all falls apart so that the magic takes hold and his life falls apart. He's robbed of his strength. He's robbed of his power. He's robbed of his allies. He is weak. He's now weakened and justice can come in and take hold and set the scales balance again. So you don't have to do this on Trump. You can work this on your enemies. Um, if it's justified, you can work this spell on your enemies. But the good thing about this spell is you can also do the opposite. So let's say you want to build someone up. You would take your blocks every day and you would just build them up. And you'd say, you know, and this one you might do floors because there's a lot of blocks here. If you have a something for each one of these blocks here, go right ahead. But like you're going to lay down three blocks as your first floor. And this is a strong mind and body. And then you lay down your other floor. And this represents uh, allies and guides who will assist you. And then you do another floor. And this represents um, a, a good moral compass. You know, whatever you want to do. And then you just build it up, build it up every day. And you repeat this every day. Um, building up this tower, building up this person. And you can do it for yourself as well, the building up. Now, as far as timing goes, uh, you can do the tearing down during a waning moon. That's when the moon is going from full to new. And the building up of someone else, you can do it when the moon is waxing. That's going um, from new to full. Anyway, that's a great little spell that I did that I've been working on um, Trump for the past um, almost two months. And again... This is not about punishment. This is about justice. This is about stripping away his privilege that shields and protects him so that justice can step in and set things to right again. Anyway, that's my video for today. It's a beautiful day outside. I hope it's beautiful where you are and that you're going to have a great weekend. And I'll be making another video tomorrow with something special to share for you. So until then, have a great weekend.